Hello everyone, Flying Dutchie here, welcome to part 2 in our first ever Humankind series. We can form our first city. Uh, the only thing I did is click on my outpost and to check out what it's doing. And um, yeah, we can just make our own city now because we are now in the next age. You are now ready to build your first city, the capital of your empire. Select the outpost you wish to grow into a city, but we have only one. Then select Evolve City to Outpost in the City and Outpost panel. Creating cities costs for influence, but your capital comes for free. So you can build one city for free. Take some time to determine the most strategic sites. In particular, pay attention to the resource production of nearby tiles and the natural protection offered by the terrain. Now we are pretty, pretty secured over here because they cannot come up on this side. So I think we are just going to make this into a city immediately. There we go. New things. Cities are the beating heart of your empire. Manage them well to see your civilization thrive. Cities are where you construct districts. This tile here, we can build three districts. Infrastructures. Potteries. Military units. Well, we only have runners. Shared projects, we don't have that listed here. As well as public ceremonies. We have one here, and we can do a feast right now. The moon icon on the city... The moon icon on the city... Pin... Oh, here. Because your city is currently idle. Cities cannot be idle at any given time during the game. So you will have to start constructing before you end turn. Okay, good to know. So, there we go, guys. We now have our city with one population. A place can be moved from one sector to the other. You could, for example, put two, one, two uh, people working on our industry. Or we will put both on food. If I do this, we will get a population next turn. So maybe I should do this. So we can get uh, three population next turn. Now, there is something called stability here. Um, population assigned here will increase the stability of the city. It's at 80%. It will evolve every turn by 5% until it reaches 100. Expanding a city by adding districts or territories decreases its stability. So these actions are only available when the city's stability is sufficiently high. We are now strained. Uh, the city's population is becoming agitated. Positive and negative events are equally likely to occur in the city. This state will remain as long as your city stability stays between 30 and 90%. So if we are above 90%, the, um, we will have no more strained uh, population. Okay. Here you can see our influence, which is also here. We are now gaining 5 influence a month. A turn, I should say. That's nice. And yeah, we are... Having two slots to work on food, and we are using that right now. We can increase this by building um, buildings. For example, we can build the canal network. And since we need to construct something, I think we are going to work on the canal network. Um, let's have a look here. The game automatically suggests tiles with the optimal resource output for you to place your districts on. On the suggestion pin, you can see the amount of resources gained on top and the amount of resource and stability lost below. So it is saying that we should build it here. So we would lose our, um, if I build it here, we lose to production. We don't want to lose production. So that is why this tile is a fantastic tile for our building. We get plus 12 food if we do this. Uh, 
because this building gives three food for ourselves and it gives plus three food per adjacent farmer's quarter. And we get an extra farmer spot. I could build a farming district, which will also give us nine. But this tile has all these farms around it that will get improved. I'm definitely going to build it here. So we're going to build our special canal farming building and Harappa will become a very rich food city. So it's working on the canal. It takes uh, 13 turns unless we put people over here. Now it takes 8 turns, but let's first get our um, third population and then we will change this next turn. We will do a bit of micromanagement. I like it. And we also have unlocked technology. Technology has been unlocked and your scientists will soon research new ways of fulfilling your strategic dreams. Take a look at the uh, technology here. Scientific research will play a key role in the development of your empire. Your scientists will never cease to research the secrets of the world. So, just like your city, they can never be idle. New technologies will open. New realms of possibilities, new districts, infrastructures, resource, extractors and units, new means of transportation, new weapons, gameplay rules and bonuses. Now, we can uh, select the technology you want to research with priority, it will replace the current one. Uh, we have only three research a turn because of our city, we don't have any other things. Uh, but let's take a look at the technology screen here. Uh, different technologies tied to a specific era you can only research technologies that are part of your current and previous areas eras okay do not go further many technologies have a prerequisite technology that must be researched first yeah if you want to get uh, uh, fishing you need carpentry as well yeah now let's have a look here uh, we can select as many as we wish, we can queue them up. So, at the beginning, so uh, we can research until here, then we are in age 2. Then we have hydrology and fortifications. Sailing, riding, wheel, organized warfare, irrigation, fishing, bronze working, masonry, and the cheap ones. We will, of course, start with one of these. Now, what do we have here? The calendar. The calendar is opening a artisan's quarter. Which will give us money. And it can be built on all the resources, I think. And if we get markets next to it, we get even more money. Uh, must be played on a luxury resource deposit. We don't have any in our neighborhood, I think. Do we have luxury resources? The answer is no. So we are not going to take that one. Domestication. Um, horses will be activated. We can build animal barns. Animal husbandry. We get food per horse. Plus one food on farmer's quarters per adjacent farmer quarter. Oh my god. Even more food. And we can get scout riders. But we need horses for it. And I don't I don't think we have any horses in the neighborhood. So we're also not going to take this one. Unless the animal barns are good. But we need horses for that one too. I don't think we have any horses here. No. Carpentry. We can clear forests. The lumber yards. We get plus one industry on forests and woodland. And we can build arches. We don't really have forests or woodlands. Well, no. We have one forest tile here. Oh, it's also terrible. 
And we have the city defense. We can get a garrison. We can build palisades. And we can build warriors. I think we need to see where we want to go next. Irrigation gives us flood irrigation. We get plus two food on rivers. Oh my goodness, even more food. Public fountain. Public hygiene is apparently a thing. We need to become classical era, really. But classical is over there, so I don't get that message. Uh, masonry will get forced labor. Uh, allows population to be consumed in order to complete constructions. Oh my god! <laughs> well, if we get uh, if we get a huge growth in our cities, then maybe we can force our population to die for certain projects. Maybe we can use it. Uh, I think I want to go towards irrigation. Yes, we will... Oh, calendar needs to be done. Domestication or calendar? One of them needs to be done. Plus two food per farmer for a granary is nice. I don't think we need domestication, so we go with the calendar and then irrigation. Yeah. We're gonna focus on why... It's doing the right one. Okay, good. Technology is done. We have two idle armies again. Oh yeah, we can ransack the uh, the thing. And now we have the runners. Because we are this this new culture. The Harapians. And I still don't know who, who they are. Um, yeah, you can ransack these uh, sanctuaries if you want. I'm going to attack this bear, I think. Gonna do a manual battle. Now you can deploy your uh, armies. Now I'm gonna put them Off we go. on a forest tile in the river, and I will defend because the bear will attack me. Yeah! Movement order, attack order, and defend. I'm gonna put both of my troops on and defend. There comes the bear, he does a lot, little damage. Now I can attack him, but I think I'm gonna keep defending, because this won't cost me any turns. There we go, and now we are going to... Uh, we should sit on the higher ground. There we go, he's dead. We lost 17% and we did not gain anything apparently. Oh, okay. Now we have one uh, idle unit here and you are going to... Where is the sanctuary listed? It's on this tile, it's so hard to see. But it is over here, and we are gonna ransack it. Why are you still retreating? This unit is retreating, it will be slower, uh, but when will it stop retreating then? No idea. Do. 
Just discover a bit here. Okay, it's no longer uh, retreating, so we can do the sanctuary next turn. Well, that was a long turn. And there we go, we have an extra population. Because we make a lot of food. Take a look at our situation here again. So, there we go. We now have two people food and we are having one working on industry. Congratulations, your first district is under construction. As you can see in the construction queue, the construction will take a number of turns. The more industry, the quicker it will be finished. You can also buy it out with money. Take seven turns to build. And that is completely fine to me. So, in three turns we get another population. And he can also work on the industry. So why am I killing these animals? Is it giving me something? In this age. Don't know. Uh, but first we are going to ransack... this thing. Districts just like units have health points. These will rapidly go down if a district is ransacked. Yes. So you can ransack districts with your armies. And am I going to split this up or not? Because we cannot get more with food. And how more expensive is it to get a new territory? We can get 10 next to our capital. So we should really um, get a new outpost over here next to our capital. If we go further away, it will be a lot more expensive. So you just want to expand next to your city. Uh, yeah, it's time to... Healing is 10 money and transfer. Transfer you over there. And I will bring you over. Yeah, we need to cross the river to this territory and build an outpost somewhere maybe next to the mountains so we get a bit more production maybe we should do it here or here don't know yet no idea yet and if we build the outpost there then i wonder if we can also build the outpost here for cheaper i don't know that yet and i we should just keep exploring, really. Let's go. Come over here. They have five movement points. We have a layer. We can ransack the layer. The river goes this way. A lot of mountains here. Over this way. Nope. Let's ransack the layer. I think we get money from it. There we go. That's the end of the turn. Oh, someone choose a culture and other AI. Ransack successful. You successfully ransacked. Your spoils are displaced in the pin above the ransack tile. So what did we get? 10 gold. Can I remove the, this thing? And we have that one and we have that one. So we got 20 extra gold. Uh, wait, you're gonna stay there. I will move you. Okay, there is another food tile over there, that, which is really good. But I like to have a bit more balanced. Now, do you see that we don't get this tile and this tile? They're not part of the territory. So we lose out on 6 production. These tiles are rubbish, the lake tiles. You don't want to build a city next to lakes. So, I mean, this is a very good food tile, foods outpost again, but we need to get production going as well. Otherwise we're not going to produce anything. 
So I'm thinking about this one. 15 and 10 is not bad at all, actually. 15 and 11. It's not very defendable. I mean, we are next to the mountains. We get some nice production everywhere. Let's go there. Let's go. Yeah, Let's next turn you are going to build the outpost over there. We are getting uh, 9 influence now per turn from our district, from our city. City is generating 9. I don't know why. And I want to know why that is 9. Because that is how I'm playing these games. Why do I get 9? Tell me. What is giving me 9 influence and not 7 or 6? It is just on this terrain. I think you get a free per pop. I think you get 3 per pop, which will be fantastic, because we are going to grow very quickly. Our stability is going higher. Positive events are more likely to occur in this city now, because we are above uh, 90 stability. I cannot put you here, because we don't have a farming spot, but we will get another one when we build our building. So let's just keep doing what we are doing there. And then we have two idle armies. We have this one. We just ransacked. Let's keep exploring a bit. Let's follow the river. Oh! Geysers. We have science. And what is this? Lead. Oh, and here we get uh, woodlands. Interesting. And you are gonna keep exploring. Yeah, we need to cross the river, which will stop our movement. Then we will follow the river this way. Okay. Someone else got another culture. Three idle armies again. Uh, yeah, you're gonna build the new city. Come over here. This one. There you go. And if you want to build another outpost, how expensive is that gonna be? So what is bordering is cheaper, so we should really claim the territories next to our main city. We don't even know what's over here in this territory. Definitely need to go there. Can I buy a scout? No. Don't think so. Uh, what are you going to do? You are going to follow the river, right? Over this way. Unknown strategical resource. And what are these tiles? Stone fields. Oh! Stone fields! Yeah. Stone fields, they would give a lot of... Uh, Production. Interesting. And we have an idle army over here. What are you going to do? I want to explore this way. We're going to move towards this, this way of the map here. Oh, elephant. Not a sanctuary. Yes, sir. All right. Another culture is chosen. 
our influence is just increasing each turn. I don't know why. I mean, we got four population now. FIMS. Food, industry, money, science. The FIMS. Are the four key resources that our empire will exploit. Saying, the tile on which a city is created is called its main plaza. The days of your early outpost are long gone and have now given place to architectural magnificence. A main plaza exploits and produces multiple resources simultaneously. Food, industry, money, science and influence. The main plaza also serves as the original spawn point of your military units and is the tile from which all future urban development will stem. Uh, now is the ideal time to learn about previewing the FIMS resource output of tiles. You can toggle tile output preview. Yeah, I did that and then everything went away again. Uh, do we need the money? We need more production. We want to build a canal network so we can make more food. We're going to do this. Uh, we will talk about this symbol later. I also, also know what that is for. And now we can go to our next things here. What are you going to do? I'm going to take a look at this tile because it's bordering our city. Which means we will cross the river, unfortunately. And what are you going to do? We're not going to get any outposts here anytime soon, but maybe we should rush to these ones so we can get stone. Just keep exploring a little bit and then we go to the sanctuary. Gonna ransack it. There we go. And we have something here. We have some animals. We have another sanctuary. I'm more interested in what is over here. So let's just keep moving forward here. Don't know what's here. Okay, so we can now see the borders of our, uh, our capital state now. But we want to know what's over here. Well, apparently there is a crater. Not a good food. Oh, these are terrible tiles. Horrible. Apparently this is a very good one. But why do we get so much food here? There must be something over here that I don't know. So we are definitely going this way. We have a sanctuary. So we will see what's the sanctuary all about. What is this? There's one territory in your empire's sphere of influence. Okay, let's open this society screen. What is this? Judges you make in civics or specific events will influence your ideologies and provide bonuses. Right now we are in the middle, which gives plus 10 stability, but we can go to collectivism or individualism. Uh, where, where can I get food? Oh. <laughs> but I can't do anything here and we don't have any civics unlocked, so we can't do anything. Maybe we will get a civic next turn or something. Don't know how that works yet. But anyway, we have to end the turn here. We ransacked, very nice. Bit more gold. And where are you gonna go now? We should really claim everything next to our city because it's a lot cheaper. Uh, you should really figure out what is over here. Let's say 29 city over there for 20. 
well, outpost really. A sanctuary, we are gonna take that one down. We got a Valdivan discovered. You discovered the breathtaking Valdivian forest. The Valdivian forest. Like the Alcid is an outpost. Yeah, we can see all our outposts and cities here. We have one outpost, which is now, I think, completed then, because it's in the list. No, it takes one more turn. And here we can also focus on everything, and we can de show the details here. We lose 34 food from population consumption. Aha! That's a lot. Um, yeah, okay. We don't really need that in the list, it's just covering more space here. So apparently a forest is given to industry. And we have a forest with huge trees over here, which gives four in four uh, industry. Well, we can't really build uh, wooden things yet, so we don't really want to go there, but... This tile gives 29. That is crazy. There's also 29. This is some really good stuff over here, I think. I think I'm just going to put an outpost there. Um, we need more runners, because we are getting out of them. I have two more movements, so I will go here, and I will... ransack this for 10 gold. We have another idle army, who just ransacked this one. Uh, I think you are going... to come back a little bit. Then we have to cross the river. I don't want to cross the river. Off we go. No. Let's do this. Let's go. Got it. Over this way. Yes, we're going to go that way. Another idle army. Um, you need to discover what's over here. We have horses here, so we could get our horses finally. And what is here? Ambergris, floating gold. Patronage. Oh. Let's uh, ransack the sanctuary. There we go. Get more gold for us. So we can claim this one very cheaply and... But this is all the, the Valvidian forest apparently. Ooh. Let's end the turn. A first city constructed. Walls, roofs, an outhouse. Ah, the luxuries of civilization. Ransack successful, yeah. So did we just build our building or... No, we just created our outpost here. And our outpost is growing and pops soon. It's okay to make mistakes. Don't hesitate to relocate an outpost if you think there's a better tile for it. You can only build one outpost in a whole province. I'm gonna call them provinces, but it's area maybe or whatever. Uh, we can do this again. So I could click this button. And then I can... Oh, apparently there is a better tile here. Really? Nah, that's wrong. That must be a wrong indication. I mean, I don't know if this is a good way to build a city next to the mountains, because I cannot build on these mountains, I think. 
I don't know. I'm new. Now, if I want to make this a city, it will cost us 160 influence. Uh, what I also can do, I think, is link the city to Harappa, this outpost to Harappa. And then everything that is getting output over here. This gives the ability to attach one of your outposts and its territory to an adjacent city. The city will receive a stability penalty. But this city will get all the bonuses that is get, get over here in Furut. So that would be nice. Mm, but let's not do it because I want to get more outposts. You are done, right? I'm going to build it here on top of the hill. We have a couple of things that happened. Now they are living in their permanent thing. We can now, we have uh, researched the calendar. So we can build the granary. And we discovered the Halong Bay. Whoa. Natural wonder control effect. We get five influence if we control that thing. But when do we control a wonder? If I get the, the province? So I should get this province, I guess. Okay, you're building the thing and you are out of movement. You are going to move a bit around further. Oh, there is a thing there, so let's get it. Uh, you ransacked, yes. Let's keep uh, exploring. Found this whole state. We could build another outpost here next turn. And maybe we should do that. Maybe over here, but that's that farmland and it's only one. So this this state here, this area is not that great. But we still want to claim it, I think. Alright guys, gonna be the end for this uh, episode. Um, I'm getting the hang of it, but this is just a start. It will get uh, more complicated, of course. But uh, I think we have a good pace and we are learning a lot. So uh, please like the video, subscribe, say something in the reactions tab. Make sure that people see these videos. And once again, if you want to get this game yourself, uh, click on the first link in my description. Don't get it on Steam because it's way too expensive over there. You can get it a lot cheaper. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.